Hey, what is going on, you variety-loving people? I hope you're ready to add some spice to your day. Welcome back to Secret Spice of Life. We are your hosts. I'm Brandon. And I'm Jordan. And if you're new, welcome. Um, Well, today, Jordan doesn't really know what's going to happen. This is kind of an episode I just planned, and I told him we can just go with it, and it's a surprise for him, so this is going to be interesting. So uh, today, I hope you have your uh, newspapers and coffee ready, because today we're talking about current events. And um, most of these events are just from the past week, since September started two Saturdays ago, or last Saturday, whenever. But um, it is the 10th, yeah. yeah. So um, this episode will be out today as well, but it'll be a little bit later than noon. So sorry about that. But um, so uh, the first event kind of ties into what I'm about to say. But uh, so in PA weather, it's been raining for like four days straight. Uh, Some, I, well, ever since Smack. Yeah, that's, that's the what? first one. That's what I want to talk so, about first. Yeah. Um, well, it's been like three days. Was that Friday? It's the seventh, yeah. Well, that's when they announced it was Friday. Yeah, it could have been like the morning of yeah. or whatever. But uh, but yeah, uh, Mac Miller passed away unfortunately, and that's like huge, like Pittsburgh news because he is from Pittsburgh. But uh, yeah. he he passed away in California, in yeah. his Beverly Hills mansion or whatever. Well, I, I mean, know, I don't know if he, he lives. Yeah, but that's what you assume. But uh, yeah, he like o- overdosed on uh, drugs. Oh. They didn't. They never really said what it was or like anything no. like that. But that was uh, really sad news. Um, so um, do you have anything like a take on that? Like how you feel? I mean, I know we're obviously I mean, all like devastated because oh, no, I was just I was like surprised, um, like that so many people. Uh, what, what do you like? I uh, like gave him shout outs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I saw somebody say on Twitter that they said there was like three million plus tweets about him when, or like that day or whatever. Yeah. But um, no, but I also I thought it was cool that uh, like I sent you the one video where Jeezy played that song for him. Oh yeah, it's true for a tribute and uh, uh, there was a uh, J Cole did one too. I don't know if he did a song, but he like talked about him at his concert. Mm-hmm. And they showed him like crying about it and stuff and uh. I'm sure there was other people I can't remember. I thought I saw some other videos too, but I just thought it was cool that, like the like big rappers in the game and stuff went and uh, like gave a, a nice tribute to him. So yeah, I mean, when you think of Mac Miller, you don't think he's like on that <clears throat> big of like a stage to where he's like J Cole or like Logic or anybody like that big. But yeah. like you can see like a lot of these like huge name rappers like giving him shout outs and like showing love to him. Mm-hmm. Oh, his, nice. And his, uh, his album went back to number one on the charts too. On oh, Apple swimming. music or iTunes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I told you, I, t- I, t- I told you. They, they, they jumped over, uh, Kamikaze and Astro world. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. Everybody's going to be playing his music for like the next couple of weeks since he passed away. And I yeah. said, I said his music's going to shoot up just like how X's did when he passed away. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, that was that was definitely a surprise. I mean, obviously he's only twenty six. Yeah, he he's in the twenty seven club. That's what it was. Oh, just, yeah, I know. I don't know. <laughs> that's messed up. But um, yeah, they're having like a, a um vigil for him this uh, like, tomorrow at seven at uh, <coughs> at Blue Slide Park or it's at Frick Park, but it's like Blue Slide. That's what he calls it. Where's that? Um, and like out by Pittsburgh. Like Dad said, I think Dad said it's like uh exit that you get off to go to Kennywood like near there so, oh, okay. like Swissville kind mm-hmm. of. Oh, that's nice yeah I, I oh hope my it's God, in the my morning voice, my voice oh, yeah. is so deep <laughs> right now. oh my God. I think I, it's still kind of lost from Saturday or whatever. oh man I don't even want to talk about that oh. but uh um the next thing I wanted to go into is the day before Mac Miller's death that we lost another another icon oh Burt Reynolds Burt Reynolds yeah that was said, but uh, oh yeah, but oh yeah, before going to Bert, but uh, I want I had a question for you. Uh, where's Mac in your list oh, of all time? I knew that was coming. Yeah. I was waiting for that. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. That's hard to do stuff like that. I know, but he's he's eligible for it now technically because he's no longer. Um. I don't know. I'd say somewhere around like fifteen, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say like I don't top, know if easily I'd top twenty. Top 10 yet. Yeah, easily top twenty. I don't know about top ten, but easily top twenty. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess music's, um, I just obviously like, uh, like sends a message, I guess, mm-hmm. 
to people. Um, like you could even see like the people that like tweeted about him when he passed away. Yeah. That uh, they always said that like him, his music helped them get through things mm-hmm. like health or mental health issues and stuff. Yeah. And um, I don't know. Like people just say that he's or and then everybody else said that uh. That he's like the the sweetest person they've ever met and stuff. Like mm-hmm. if you meet him in person, that he's just the the, the coolest person ever. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's this one other story that I wanted to share too. That was like uh, I read it yesterday on Twitter, or Instagram, or something. Um. This this person said that they brought like T-shirts to a show that they just made themselves one time, and they like met him in VIP, I guess, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, they said they said oh they just brought him thinking that he's just gonna like take him and just toss him or whatever mm-hmm. and uh, and he, they or they said that uh, that he just like took him and threw him on right away and wore him for the show his, right. he had his security guard and uh, his DJ wear him too oh that's dope so yeah that was like a cool thing <laughs> yeah and, that's what that's what, like, what a lot of people say like I mean I mean people say that about like other people too but that's what pe- most people say when they meet Mac Miller he's like a super down there earth guy yeah like it's uh, I mean, like, it's different than yeah, you would see him, like, on the stage, I guess. Yeah. I mean, not that he, he's not, like, a terrible person. His music's not, like, a terrible, like, influence, yeah, obviously. No. But, like, yeah. I mean, you just don't see, like, many people in, like, in public to be able to, like, know what, they, what they're what they like, I guess. Yeah. He's, like, sometimes people are different than how they appear, like, on, like, a stage or something like that. But. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I don't know. There's just, like, so many videos that have come out lately. No. Mm-hmm. that show like how he was around other people and everything or around like people in public i guess yeah but um oh, i thought there was one more thing that i wanted to say i don't know uh if i if i think of it i'll i'll say something but all right just good yeah but uh they get back in the burt reynolds i mentioned him before he passed away at the age 82 on september 6th which is uh really i don't know i didn't i i mean I expected him to like live a little bit longer. I didn't know he was that old, honestly. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know he was eighty. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, he. I haven't seen him in a while, but he doesn't look that old. Like, I, he he looks older, but I didn't expect well, him to be eighty-two. The last time I saw him in anything was it like the longest yard? That's right? a, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. That was two thousand five. Like Thirteen years ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, or no, yeah, something yeah, I think like, it was two thousand five yeah. or two thousand six, something like that. I um, remember we watched it on our birthday every year for like five years straight. Yeah, no, I just watched it out. a couple weeks ago. I think or not even. <laughs> I don't think it was like a week or so. Ago. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, <laughs> well, then Smokey and the Bandit too is like yeah. one of the yeah like one of the classics. Yeah, it's for sure. But uh, yeah, that that's one of my questions for him that I had for you. What's one of your favorite Burt Reynolds movies? I mean, like, I don't, I wouldn't really, know. I mean, I guess Smokey and the Bandit's the, the one to go with. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, on it personally, I liked, I like the newest, he's in both Longest Yards, he's like the older one and the newer one. Yeah. But, uh, I, I liked him in the newer one. That's, a, that's, a, that's my favorite with him in it, because it is one of my favorite movies, and I think he's, like, hilarious in it. <laughs> but, uh, he plays, like, that, uh, the older influence on, like, Adam Sandler, like, yeah. while he's in prison. That's super interesting, but uh, if you haven't seen that movie, I'd definitely suggest watching that. I mean, and Smokey and the Bandit, of course, classic movie <laughs> for all you youngins out there. <laughs> but um, and did you have anything else on that? Because I didn't have like too too much to say about that. Just wanted to pay tribute to him. Is but um, so the next one is Elon Musk when he was on Joe Rogan's show yesterday or uh, the seventh as well. A lot of stuff happened on September seventh. Oh, but oh, um. Gosh. But um, I had uh, him on there. I don't know if you guys watch like Joe Rogan's podcast. It's a really good one, but they're kind of lengthy episodes. But if you enjoy listening to something while you're on your way to work or something, I'd definitely suggest it. Or well, I'd suggest watching this one as well. It's pretty funny. But uh, if you guys don't know who Elon Musk is, he's the owner of uh, like Tesla and uh, the Boring Company, and he does SpaceX too. Yeah. He's a, he's on a lot of things. But Elon Musk is a really good guy, even though he's like a almost a trillionaire basically. <laughs> but uh. Uh, he does like a lot of different stuff that's super interesting, but he was on there to talk about like Tesla and the boring company basically like drilling holes in the ground is like what the um, boring company does and they're building tunnels underneath California and um, but uh, he was talking about like Tesla and uh, 
you know Joe Rogan he smokes like weed and stuff like that and and he offered uh Elon Musk to smoke a joint with him <laughs> and Elon Musk, Musk smoked it and uh people were like texting him on the show like his friend like it was live on YouTube well, he so, lost what nine percent nine percent of stock in, tes- in Tesla yeah nine like, percent it dropped nine percent or whatever yeah and That's like uh, people were like freaking out about it his friends were like oh what are you doing smoking a joint on uh, Joe Rogan's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> But I, I thought it was hilarious. It's just funny to see like those those like high status people doing like normal stuff. <laughs> like like that Elon Musk is like a super like socially awkward person. Like when you watch the podcast, like I was like listening to it while I was like playing games, and he like it would like pause, and I had to like go and check to see if like that thing paused. But he just took like a long pause before he said like anything. <laughs> but he uh, Elon Musk is like definitely somebody I look up to. But I think it's ridiculous that people drop out of tesla stock when it's gonna make a lot of money just because he smoked the joint like and he even said he, he he doesn't get high like when he smokes which is like some that i mean i guess that doesn't happen sometimes but he uh he said it doesn't like affect him or anything and he doesn't smoke normally so like it's not like something that's gonna be an everyday habit he was just and he was he was drinking whiskey on the show like he was just like oh, relaxing they always do that. yeah they, they always they like, drink on the show yeah joe rogan that's how joe rogan shows like you just sitting there to have a conversation like a chill conversation yeah it's like it's really laid back but uh, I just think that's like ridiculous that people would drop out of a stock just because of one little thing. Like people need know. to calm down, and yeah. they need to, you're you're investing in something that's like really really great, and you're just dropping out of that because of one little incident like that. <laughs> like, it's not it's not like he did something completely terrible. Yeah, I could see if like, he murdered somebody. Or something. Yeah. Like, but come on, <laughs> that's what people were acting like. Like he just like literally killed somebody on this show. Nine uh, percent stock. That's a that's a lot. Decrease. Oh yeah, jeez. Yeah, Oh, yeah, and sorry for anybody that's watching me drink this gelatinous drink. It's just like a protein shake, and it's vegan, so oh, for all you vegans out there, it's pretty good, though. But, um, yeah, that's ridiculous, and um, uh, on another note on that, related kind of to Tesla and electric cars and stuff like that, but uh, Mercedes uh, released their first attempt at an electric um, car in Stockholm um, on the 4th, which was pretty interesting, but uh, I know that's not going to be competition for like Tesla or like anything. Well, I can't like imagine that. what those cost. What do they cost? Oh, half I didn't. Million they, don't, they don't have a price on it. It's just like their first attempt at it. But um, Jeez. but uh, Elon Musk. They even addressed Elon Musk in an interview and asked about people making electronic cars as well. And he said, "I'm not really worried about it." He said, "I'm on cutting edge technology and stuff like that." So he's not really stressing over it. But uh, I just thought that was like something interesting to bring up since we were on that topic. But uh, something I added just like right before we started the show for the one is uh, Rick and Morty won an Emmy for the oh. Pickle Rick episode. Um, and uh, Jordan told me that yeah, happened two days ago. Like, right before we started, <laughs> right yeah. before we started recording. But yeah. um, that was I think Saturday that ha- Saturday night the mm-hmm. Emmys were. But no, I thought that was like pretty funny that they <laughs> they won <laughs> they won an Emmy for for portraying a, a, a live pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Like literally, <laughs> that's hilarious. But uh, yeah. and it was on the like cartoon, like cartoon shows that they were facing. But yeah, like, but I mean, still, who else was nominated? Like in Big that? Hero. It was like Big Hero. Big 6. Hero Six. Oh. Really, Big Hero Six. Is, like, it was like, yeah, but it was like movies and TV shows. I guess in really? the in the category. Big Hero Six is a but good movie. Big Hero. Um. Oh, there were some other like popular cartoons. Um. I think South Park might have been in there too. Oh uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. There was one more. I think there was three other team or three other movies or TV shows that they beat. Yeah, but uh, I didn't know they did that for like cartoons and stuff like that. I knew cartoons could win them. I mean, I knew like Disney movies, or, like Pixar movies and yeah. stuff like that could win them, but like I didn't know. They won two, I think. I think they won another one for something. Oh really? I, it was, <laughs> yeah. I think it might have just been like a like for the TV show, like not an individual episode. Yeah, but um. I didn't I didn't know they did that for like cartoon shows and stuff like that, but that's that's interesting. <laughs> but uh yeah, I mean if you watch our movies and show episode we, we mentioned we talk about Rick and Morty a little bit, but it's like one of our favorite cartoons currently. I mean it's even it's probably one of my favorite cartoons of all time and that's I have a very long list. Yeah. But um I still don't know when season four is coming out, I guess. Yeah, they uh I saw something on Instagram, like they were in the office, it was uh the dude who voices Rick was talking yeah. and uh they they were like they did like a little snippet of it. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what was oh, what's his name? Justin Roiland's making another TV show too. I think that's like another uh, cartoon. Yeah, you like, mentioned that. It's like based. I I don't think it's based on Rick and Morty, but it's like the same like premise kind of. It's like a comedic like weird cartoon. I don't know. 
I, I saw something about it and I forget what it's called now. But I did see something like they're working on another one that's supposed to come out like next year sometime, I think, like end of next year. Yeah. And um, I'm assuming Rick and Morty's going to start, or the season four is going to come out pretty soon. Like uh, yeah. within the next year i would i mean i would say within the next year when's when's the last time they uh dropped like an episode it's I mean, been like a year and a half right i think it's been like a year i think it was really last spring, oh yeah it was last I was, spring or that, we were still in college we were uh i was i was watching it on uh the bus to the game so it was like it was like last october september something no like i think that. it was last spring spring like, like april yeah really like yeah jeez Oh, I guess, yeah, because I guess Nick did mention it, like, when in the it summer. Should, when it we should were tell you out. when it started, right? Um, if you look um, it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look it up, I'm sure it will tell you. Um, season three. Um, Wait, wasn't it season four? Oh. No, it was no, season, no, three. season three. You're right, you're right, you're right. But, um, oh, yeah, but you were right, you were right. What, uh, like, September? September, I think. Oh, wait, August, August, August. Okay, so, wait, they... they did it weird remember how he released episodes really weird he did a few then he took a long break uh, like he it says uh, april 1st was episode one episode two was july mm-hmm. episode three was august there was he dropped a few in august then he dropped a few in september and one in october to end it yeah okay i didn't i, I forgot didn't remember about he that. did yeah. it like i didn't watch it when it was on though yeah yeah i always watch them like after i don't i never watch them when they're i forget on. he did weird like that he doesn't do an episode every week they do an episode like every, like whenever they want to put it on TV. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, we're gonna take a short break. We have a promo from uh, Let Me Bend Your Ear podcast. Um, they talk about movies, sports, and politics. Even though we don't talk about politics too much, but uh, um, yeah, go check them out. Polarization is destroying our democracy. Even though the Buffalo Bills lost four consecutive Super Bowls, they're one of the greatest teams of all time. The Iron Giant is one of the greatest animated films ever made. Did I just state three unrelated topics? Yes, I did. But this is the Let Me Bend Your Ear podcast, and I'm your host, Frank. My show discusses these three topics, politics, movies, and sports. Not all in the same episode, of course. Each episode is devoted to one of these topics. But that's a sampling of some of the opinions I have. I hope to bring a fresh perspective to these three topics and hopefully provide some insight to something that maybe you hadn't thought of before or hopefully help you discover something that would interest you as well. So please check out the show. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, and CastBox. All right, we're back, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that promo. Definitely go check out Let Me Bend Your Ear. Um, I checked out their Michael Jordan and LeBron episode where they give their thoughts on that, and I thought it was pretty interesting, so I definitely suggest that one for a first one. You get, it's I think it's their second episode. It's their first one's their intro. So um, yeah, definitely go check that out. But anyways, um, the next thing I want to dive into for current events is video games. Since uh, we've been playing like a little bit more. But uh, the first video game, I know you you and Nathan downloaded this the other day. Uh, uh, Destiny it's 2. It's been out for like a while. Though. Yeah, but they just released their DLC um, on the 4th. Oh, they released another one? Yeah, the Forsaken oh, DLC. But um. Did you start? You started playing that, didn't you? Yeah, just a little. What do you, like what do you an, think I about that? Like an hour. Um, I don't know. I mean, like it's Destiny, you know. Like I mean, like it's I like mean, it, I've I've only played like one time. It's, it's like really open world, I guess. Mm. I mean, Those are the best I mean, games. to the too. point, like where I guess, I mean, we didn't like really explore that much, but like because we tried to do a few missions like before we got off because we only played for like an hour. Yeah. So um. And they have those, like, cool, like, events that pop up, like, their public events where anybody could just jump in. Oh, yeah. Like, and they'll just drop a bunch of, like, enemies, and you have to kill them, or kill a certain amount of whatever ones. Mm Mm-hmm. And, um, I don't know. I mean, like, I think that's pretty cool. That's what I like about the game, that you can just, like, land or go somewhere and just kill stuff and mm-hmm. get rewards for it yeah yeah i always like it instead of doing things. like a complex like mission or whatever yeah but i mean uh the mission that we did i think we only might have did one or, one or two but like one of the missions that we did wasn't really hard i mean like you just like go down into this like tunnel mm-hmm. and i think we killed something what was it? i don't know i think we killed some like boss thing or something yeah and so it only took like a few minutes to do mm-hmm. but like i haven't really played it that much to be able to like like study it that much destiny one yeah. was like pretty cool though 
I like Destiny, or the first Destiny game. Yeah, I remember we, I played that at Adam's house, I think, when we went down to North Carolina. Like, when it first came out, I don't, I think oh, that's what yeah. we played. Oh, yeah, you were playing online, right? You yeah. played the PvP mode. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. But uh, I only played it, like, one time. I mean, it's cool. I never like, played PvP mode on there, so I don't know what it's actually like. I mean, I would assume it's probably something like Halo or... Mm-hmm. something like that because that's the type of game that destiny is you're like in space and or not in space but like you travel to different planets yeah. and everything so and you're like kind of a you can pick between like a human a robot and something else like some alien type race i guess yeah um do they do they let you customize your characters or do you yeah just... you can pick the face oh, hair, okay. eye color hair color like yeah, okay all that so they're stuff. pretty in detail with like the yeah customizing. and then there's three classes uh, titan titan hunter and warlock i think mm-hmm. the three. I, me and nathan both made hunters by accident so yeah <laughs> we're, good, we're the same people right now mm-hmm. but um i don't know i mean like i think it's pretty fun so far yeah just in the first like what like little bit of playing it was free wasn't it or... yeah it's free download on playstation plus for until... a month until october 2nd i think uh, okay yeah i wonder if my plus membership ran out <laughs> I, I think it was supposed to run out this well, month i could have also downloaded one other it. thing one other game that came out uh, spider-man oh i have that on this list yeah yeah I haven't, I mean, I, talk about we it haven't played it obviously yeah. but like um, oh that's the next one i had too what <laughs> spider-man was the next um, on my list to talk about yeah yeah well, obviously we haven't played it but i've heard really good things about it i was watching since it's dropped I guess, what was that Friday or something? Saturday, uh, the, Friday or Saturday? the seventh. Everything happened the seventh. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, a lot of games came out on the seventh too. Like two other games came, three no, two other games came out on the seventh that I have on here. But um, I was watching a live walkthrough of the game. This one dude that I watch on YouTube is a streamer. He uh, is it is it like is it an open world? Yeah, it's open world. But um. But uh, it, it, the graphics look fantastic. But uh, I, I just watched like five or ten minutes, maybe like real quick while I was doing some stuff. But um, I thought it was pretty inter- interesting. But um, I wonder if they did they have Tom Holland voice Spider Man for that or? Mm, I don't know. I th- I thought like when I saw the commercial that he looked like Tom Holland. Like they when they like when the he character? was Peter Parker. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I thought I thought it looked pretty good, but uh, I, I the last Spider-Man game was what like two thousand four for like PlayStation Two or Unless something like that. Unless they made something in between there. Yeah, if you guys are listening to this on the podcast, like iTunes, Google Play, whatever, uh, be sure to download the podcast, subscribe, rate, and leave a comment if you can, um, and comment on Facebook. Tell us what you think, whether it's good or bad, or if you just want to leave fifty one to six in the comments. But uh, well, gladly I'll gladly laugh at that. Man. Yeah, Thank I'll you. gladly laugh at that. I'll even I even like it. But uh, and then if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you give us a comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, it would help us out a lot for both of those. Either way, um, make sure you go check out over all us on social media, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, follow us on Snapchat. It's the same as our Twitter. I think it's at official S S O L. Um, we've been getting a little bit more people on that. Oh, and something else that's current, yeah, is that uh. Following and unfollowing method still doesn't work for all of oh. you. Keep doing that. But um. Anyways, uh, yeah, go check out our uh, Patreon and uh, donate to the tiers to help increase your viewing and listening experience. And check out our blog and our website. You added the other blog on there, didn't you? Uh, I think it's up to part three right now. Yeah, part three. Part four we there. uploaded it after our last episode, which is on Thursday or Friday, something like that. But um, as always. Have a positive and productive day. Welcome to some shit that's considered legendary. I'm a-